All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Kyle Figley on CBR.com uh, here at Comic Con 2019, and ecstatic to be with the creators and the cast of uh, mine and my four year old's favorite cartoon show on planet Earth, DC Superhero Girls. Um, guys, it has been so much fun to see uh, not just this show be there, but I guess to see the characters have such distinct personalities. I feel like sometimes, I think sometimes this is true of animation, I think this is true of superhero shows sometimes, you only get so many flavors of characterization. And particularly, I think sometimes we get, sometimes when the women characters have been brought out in superhero shows, it's been like, well, she can be, be a real hard ass or she can be very, very stereotypically girly and that's it. Um, what has it been like for you guys? I mean, obviously, uh, we, I was over there a minute ago while you were talking and it seems like you get to play off each other and have a lot of fun while you're playing these characters. Do you record all at the same time or as many of you at the same time as you can? Yeah. And what is what are those sessions like? How can you keep them under control, I guess? <laughs> I yell a lot. That's right. She's, she's a scream. scream. She, she threatens. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 not hard. You know, we 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 sit down and uh, we go through the script and and um, you know we've been working together a long time now and it's, it's actually pretty easy. I don't know. We just kind of we just kind of fly through it and you know someone will deliver a line. And I'll go no wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have so much fun. involved, but we don't. <laughs> we have so much fun working all together and playing off yeah. each other. And the fun thing is when Lauren says, like, let's do this all together. And we have in practices, sometimes we don't even count down. And we will all be in simpatico and say the line exactly the same cadence, exactly the same time. Yeah. Like, I it's so fun. We're so in tune with each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 all, it's all meshed together quite well by... We are one person. Yep. Yes. <laughs> one you can't tell. There's there's Super. tendrils underneath. They're all connected like it's a hive. It's fine. Um, so I'd like if you guys go down the line and tell me a little bit. I mean, obviously we've seen about nine episodes. I think have been aired so far. Uh, you guys have produced a lot more. You guys recorded a lot more. But one of the fun things about a show like this is that even though you have this ensemble cast, each character gets uh, the occasional episode that is their story, their spotlight. Um, for stuff coming up without trying to blow anything too much. Um, are there, I guess, stories for your character that you really connected with or related with, or you say when she faces this challenge, this is something coming up that I, I feel is really something we nailed? I got one. I loved, I, and I'm sorry to go back to the first one, but it's so great when Babs realizes she's not the only one like her. Mm -hmm. And she's in the room with all the girls. It's a great monologue that you wrote. It's yeah. a great monologue. And she's like, oh my god, I thought these only ones are super, but everyone else is super too. And it's like this moment of realization where you like don't think you can sit at the cool girls table, but everybody wants to sit at the same table. And it's like that total high school angst yeah. all captured in this one moment of realizing, hey, we can join forces and work together. And that's for me as Babs, like such a great moment. I love that scene. You so find your tribe. The, yeah. I was thinking the same thing, that, yeah. that idea of finding your tribe. Mm -hmm. Because the, they, they they just show so many different um, groups in this cartoon. You know, you've got uh, the environmental chick, you've got the the drama club girl, you've got you know the the techie and all these different things. So it's it's kind of cool that they all sort of find each other, and and then that's what makes them stronger is that they find their tribe. Yeah. Anybody else? You guys have moments, ideas, places where you guys have said. I'm trying to get somebody to blow something. Not really. <laughs> but, I mean, are, are there things? There's a, there's a, I mean, an episode coming up where I, you sort of mentioned earlier where, mm -hmm. where someone, someone is saying some bad stuff about Supergirl that's not true and you know, starting rumors. Oh. And she's got to deal with that and that's obviously a very high school thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a very grown up thing. I mean, it, it happens and she sort of has to navigate through that and then how you sort of fight back or sort of how you like accept that that there's stuff in life and you got to look to the people that love you anyway. You know, mm -hmm. um, I'm sort of making it seem sweet. She doesn't handle it quite that sweetly at first. <laughs> no. um, no, in lady. fact, she, I yeah. think she takes most of the city down. Later. Yes, so <laughs> she, yes. She gets a little, her feathers get ruffled yeah, at first, slightly. make no mistake, yeah. but. So um, one of the things that I also have found has been really interesting is that obviously these episodes and these stories are made to be standalone. They're made to be a story that any kid can step into and experience and enjoy. But we are getting certain teases of things that I think are, are kind of be slow burn things. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, um, the introduction of Cheetah was the, the moment that's aired so far that has been like, OK, we know this is coming back around. Um, as you guys have been writing the show and, and working on that, how much do you think how much ability, I guess, do you have to think of it as a longer form story or a bigger thing like that versus how much you know that you have to do it episodically? Uh, it's it's finding the balance between that. So, you know, uh, again, like when we're we're sitting in the story room and figuring that stuff out together, it, it, it's actually something that 
is really fun for me is to have these larger arcs for these characters to follow, but to show those little steps as their own individual yeah. stories. And it's super fun when you do those fun little individual stories and they kind of dovetail into the larger arc of the character. Yeah, and sometimes. And so it's exciting. Yeah, sometimes one story will will even like uh, address two two different arcs at like one time. Yeah. Um, and that's, um, we have an episode coming up with, um, uh, that's, that's going to be airing soon uh, with Green Lantern. Um, and uh, it it introduces Poison Ivy, but it's actually the beginning of a story between the two of them that's going to grow. Mm-hmm. So, um, but and on its Ivy, own, like it's poison just its own. Ivy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Gray. <laughs> um, the other thing you guys were talking about this a minute ago, but I I really have found this is that. This is a, a show set in high school, and it's dealing with angst and stuff like that. And then there are giant explosions, right? I mean, it, I feel like <laughs> that that wedded nature of here's the emotional thing, and then we're going to externalize it, and we're going to let the characters really kind of play out whatever there is they're going through in some kind of active way. I mean, tell me a little bit of, I guess, how you guys experience that as you're making the show. And have you gotten response? I mean, have you, now that the episode's been out there, have you been able to hear back from kids who have watched the show and kind of feel their take on it? Um... A, a big thing for me in developing the show was was almost like just like you were saying, trying to find a metaphor between being a teenager and being a superhero. So that's like exactly what what we're going for, which is which is what is a teenager experience that is, you know, full of emotion or or new experiences or confusion or or all the things that we deal with when we're growing up, and then what's the super metaphor to that, or or what is a um, a conflict that these characters could be going through that like emotionally peaks with with what they're going through at the same time um so that that's always been a that, that's been a goal of mine so it's 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 nice to see that you no, no, no. <laughs> on it. thank yeah. you um you know because we still we've only we haven't aired a ton of episodes yet yeah. so i feel like kind of the bigger heavier stuff is still to come the kind of stuff that might really resonate with people so um I, it's it's I think it's still a waiting game to see exactly what kind of effect that that might have on people individually. We did get to see today some really cute kids dressed up as the characters and yes. coming up to the mic and saying that this is their favorite version and they love the show so much. So it's it's definitely rewarding to see that starting to catch fire. No, yeah, it's been I, my daughter's four and a half and it's been weekends in our house and I, and we watch. Um, Yvonne Craig in Batman in the 60s on Saturday mornings, which is in reruns, and then we watch DC Superhero Girls on Sunday mornings, and so... That's fantastic. Yeah, it's been a really good balance. It's been really fun. Our parents have thanked us today. Like, thank you for this Mm -hmm, show. Thank you, because that my daughters have something to watch that's so inspiring and, and empowering. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it can't go without being said, you know, we have, um, all ladies here. I know so much of the creative staff are women. I know Kay Hanley's done the the music, which has been so excellent. You know, I mean, I feel like that's really rare in animation to be able to have um, so many women uh, at the lead of a show like this. I mean, is that something you guys have thought about or talked about as you're making the show, or is it just we're here and we're doing the job and we're we're getting it done? I kind of like a second thought. Like we just go into a room, start doing our job, and then pause for a second, and it's like. All ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all like, this has never Whoa. happened to any yeah. of us before. <laughs> you we're the only I? one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and and it was a very natural, you know, when we're, when we're looking to staff up the show with artists and writers and things, you know, we look for people who have a, a voice that we feel like suits the show, and it just so happens a lot of them are women, and um, we have a, a a lot of our storyboard crew. Um, are most of them are young women and and that's been really exciting because they you know we have the script we give them the script but they're they're bringing even more to it because they understand oh I went through that oh I know how that <laughs> feels or I had a friend who that happened to and so that th- th- the stories become even more genuine because they're not they're not guessing. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, guys, uh, thanks so much for the show. Thanks so much for coming by. Uh, we're going to have more from Comic-Con uh, 29 later on. You can catch DC Superhero Girls Sunday mornings on Cartoon Network. Uh, and we'll see you later. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.